Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Flying with Overkill F-16C Viper for DCS World and today we're going to take a look at post-designated CCIP bombing. Now post-designated CCIP bombing is used when you actually can't physically see the target or the pipper I should say. You can't see the actual pipper on the target. You can only see the simulated pipper which we'll talk about in a minute. So the idea behind it is you find your target with the simulated pipper. You press and hold the weapons release button and then you um, level out the aircraft and essentially put the aircraft into a CCRP mode after you've designated the target with your CCIP pipper. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what some of this looks like. So first we're going to go to air to ground mode. Okay, you can see our master arms already set. We're going to come down here and we're going to try this with low drag first. It works with high drag or low drag, but I find low drag to be more forgiving. Um, it, it just, the, the trick to this is, is or I should say the a couple of factors you have to be aware with with this is if you're going to use high drag, the higher you are, the more chance for error, the more chance for wind, the more chance for bank angle, the more chance for pitch angle to affect the drag on the bomb and therefore change its trajectory, sometimes pretty significantly, especially, for example, as we're sitting up here at 14,000 feet. Now, we'll probably be more like 11 or 10,000 feet by the time we actually level out and ready for release. But you guys catch the drift here. So we're going to start with low drag first, and then I'll show you a high drag release. So we're going to go ahead and go in pairs. We're going to change our interval distance to, uh, let's do, let's do 200 feet. Go enter. And then our ripple is going to be three times as we have six bombs on board. All right. So the first one, we're going to go ahead and go out to our target area like we normally do. All right. And let's zoom in here. And so we can see just like before, we have our bomb fall line. Okay, now this is the TDC or um, target designate Q, um, which basically indicates that the pipper, hang on a second, I got some weird things going on my camera. There we go, that's better. That the pipper is actually below the HUD line. So the whatever distance it is from this line to the pipper, this pipper is actually that far distance below. So for example, here, the pipper is actually down here. This is a simulated pipper, which we can use for targeting. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how we're going to use this today. So what I'm going to do, let's disengage the autopilot here. I'm going to turn the aircraft a little bit, try to get a better angle on our target area. And the other thing I'll tell you is the higher you are, the more precise your flying has to be. I mean, just with any given situation like that. And so we're going to try to line ourselves up to get a relatively straight approach. Um... But, I mean, it doesn't matter whether we're using high drag or low drag. The higher you are, the more chance for error, and therefore the more um, steady you must fly the aircraft. Which, apparently, it's been a while since I've flown the 16, because the past couple of uh, practice runs I've done here <laughs> were crap. <laughs> let's just call it what it is. Um, but, all right, let's go ahead and turn in on course. That should be close enough to at least get us more or less what I'm looking for. It doesn't have to be perfect. And so what we're going to do here is pitch the nose down. There, now let's shift around here. And we don't have to pitch down crazy. I mean, this is just a shallow approach. I'm not worried about perfection here. So all I'm going to do here, and you can see that the pipper is still, if we pause, even at this dive angle, the actual CCIP pipper is still this distance below the uh, the HUD. So it's more like here is the actual target area. If we were to, if we were to just tap the weapons release button, the bombs would hit. So take this distance to this distance. The bombs would hit about right here on the terrain. Okay. So what we're going to do is take this pipper, and I'm going to zoom in quite a bit. We're going to pull it onto our target area here, and I'm going to sort of go, try to go relatively on our targets here. I'm pressing and holding now. I'm holding the weapons release button. And you can see what it's done here is it's put us into a CCRP mode. So we're going to fly the bomb fall line. There comes the bomb cue. Falls into the circle. Weapons released. We can let go of the uh, weapons release button. And here's our bombs. And so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And like I said, that was a pretty bad lineup. I wasn't lined up on the targets when I released the bombs. I was in a slight bank. And so this is what I was talking about, where the higher you are, the more chances for error. But let's see how we did. It looks like it's not going to be as bad as I thought. 
So that wasn't terrible. We got one, you know, and it was in the general vicinity, so that still wasn't bad given my pilot error there. Okay. So now let's go ahead and I'll show you guys one more time. Um, and we'll use the high drag and I'll give you guys an idea of that. Okay, because that gets a little bit more intense here. All right, so we're back in the Viper here. Let's go back into air to ground mode. We'll set up the same situation, but we'll stay in high drag this time. So we're going to do 200 feet again. Go enter. And we're going to ripple three times and go enter. And change this to pairs, actually. All right, so that's all of our bombs that will be released. And it'll be the same configuration here. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up time a little bit. Get us into the target area a bit faster this time. And again, I'm not really worried about lining it up. I, I more or less just want you guys to see what the impact is at this kind of altitude. So we'll speed up just a little bit more. There we go. Let's disengage the autopilot. Hit our zoom here. Pitching the nose down. Let's zoom in a lot. And let's try to grab this other side here. Actually here. We'll do... So I'm going to try to put it right in the center of this pack here, pressing and holding. Leveling out the aircraft, more or less. And again, watching that fall line up at the top. You can see it coming down now, just above the heading indicator. And bombs are released. Back in autopilot, Let's see how we do here. And just sort of watch as these guys open up. You can see that spread is really getting wide. That one on the left is really going out there. This one back here is really falling out. Okay, so again, with the high drag bombs, you take this risk. It can get really quite ridiculous. And depending on your situation, that may work out, depending on what you're bombing. You know, but these are going to be all over the place. We're going to have some in the dirt, a couple on the runway... But uh, it's not going to be a particularly effective attack in this in this mode. Because we were so high. Again, there's just so much room for error. So you can see that was significantly more off um, than the first spread. The first spread was, was bad flying. That was me. You know, the second one, you know, it was more, you know, the, the environmental effects on the bombs are just too extreme. So anyway, um... Short and sweet demo, not a whole lot to it. Um, I just thought you guys might be interested in that. Um, it's very handy if you basically need to do a CCRP engagement. You know, you've got uh, maybe some shokas, things like that, where you have to stay out of their firing range, but you don't have any precision ordnance on board, right? So this is a way to rapidly change your firing mode from CCIP to CCRP by using the CCIP pipper to designate your target. So I hope you guys appreciate this tutorial. I will catch you guys in the next one. There's quite a few tutorials coming out, even a couple more for the Hornet. Um, now that some pretty significant changes have been made. Um, and given the fact that I have that big list on the forums, uh, much like this one, I figured, you know, I should probably keep it up to date. So stay tuned for those guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you all in the next one.